I came from my parents were both married three times each. Wow. You know, it's a sort of very colorful background. And so I never thought I'd ever get divorced. Mm. So if there's a simple shame in my life, it's that. Gavin Rossdale opening up about his painful divorce from Gwen Stefani. I think that, that all the time we're, you know, there's this metamorphosis going on in your life. The Bush frontman getting honest on the Amy and TJ podcast. Looking back at the aftermath of their 2015 split, an outcome he never wanted for the three sons, Apollo, Kingston, and Zuma. When you see the kids, that sometimes there's a loss. You know, it'd be nice if there was a sort of a more connection for the person who made them with me. Yep. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So that side of it. So I feel bad for my kids, that's it. And the rest of it is like, it comes with the territory. I got good kids, I feel good about that. Gavin and Gwen tied the knot in 2002, and for years, the mom and dad rockers found a balance with work and family. I like the idea that we're both working and both doing what we love. I mean, anyone who has kids knows about sacrifices. After the two called it quits, Gavin says he felt this one regret for nearly a decade. Wish I, you know, could have just figured out a way to um, not have that in their lives. It wasn't fun for me to be from a broken home. So I think in a way it gave me a career. <laughs> so I don't mind because I turned it around into sort of a, an interesting uh, career path. But it can be quite debilitating for kids, as you know. The overriding thing is just like, you don't want to let your kids down. One of the most admirable things that I have witnessed through, you know, you all going through a very public breakup, I've never heard you say one bad thing about Gwen. Right, why would I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't, I would never do that. Did you make that decision from day one? It comes real natural to me, you know what I mean? I mean, she's amazing, so why would I think any less? The 58-year-old Brit doubling down on that mindset in 2024, over two years into Gwen's new marriage with Blake Shelton. I'm handcuffed because I would never want to overly say anything negative about their mom or something like that. It's just not right. I just had to kind of just take it and just be present for my kids and just like... Mm be English and just like hold your head up and just keep walking and just try and be just, just, has it gone away yet? Not yet, no, okay. <laughs> As for Gavin's love life, well, it's Instagram official, sharing this selfie with Koana and seems it's been going well enough for the pop singer to meet his kiddos. It's been really cute to uh, to let people know that. She's very sweet and very um, supportive. So it's been really good and it's been organic and nice and, uh, it's fun, you know. I think that there's no accidents in life and you are where you're meant to be. So I don't live in regret. Life just unfolds how it should. And whether that's comfortable or uncomfortable, mm -hmm. just is what it is. 